Alright guys, thanks for joining me today. In front of me, I have the Vanquish Capra. I call this the Vanquish Capra because it has about 80% Vanquish or Incision parts. So this Capra started life as a uh, RTR and it slowly uh, got modified with all Vanquish or Incision parts. So visually on the outside, uh, you can tell it has the uh, in the running footages later on at the end of the video i'll have a running footage you'll see the uh, aluminum panels that are polished so it looks like these right here throughout you, know, you can see from the top you can see from the top here the front that's pretty cool and uh, all the parts and everything that i'm going to be talking about will be in the video description so no need to worry there. But anyhow, um, so let me do a quick spin around, show you what it's all about and see what it looks like. I honestly think the 2.2s on this capper look a lot better than the 1.9s. It, it, it's it complements it very well. So this uh, capper to start off with on the exterior. So these are SSD Assassins wheels. Uh, with Proline TSL Swampers, G8 Compound, Single Stage, or the stock foams that come with these tires. And then for these shocks, they're incision 90 millimeter shocks. Uh, 90 millimeter shocks. In the front, you can tell the links. All the stock axial links have been swapped out for Vanquish, or I'm sorry, incision links. Vanquish horn. Um, and then for the servo, I'm using the, uh, and you can see that better. The Reefs Triple Five. Now this servo is really nice uh, for a non-direct power servo. Um, it's really nice. Uh, I would say that it's almost like a raw 500, but without the speed. Same same uh, power, but not the speed. And uh, in the video segment, I'll turn it on to show you how you know, it, it's it's got the power, just not the speed. Um, so it's got the links all throughout, incision links. The axles, all the guts, has been swapped out for incisions, uh, Vanquish gear sets. Uh, and this particular truck has the underdrive. So uh, many of the axial stuff, you, you, as you guys are probably aware, they share parts interchangeably. And to get the, uh, to have to get this vehicle to have overdrive with the stock transmission, uh, I had to use the uh, AR44s, or I'm sorry, AR44 gear set was used for this, and it reduces the rear to, down to 9.5 percent to give it that front a little bit more uh, overdrive. And as you can tell, the inside. This, uh, this Capra is running a Fusion 1800 KV motor. The all-in-one. Very nice system. Very smooth. Um, I had a, a few of these ready. And um, it's not bad. It's really nice. Very smooth. And the um, other thing I want to point out. So this particular truck also has a uh, interior delete. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it has the interior delete. So usually you have two people in there and you know, they got deleted. And underneath, the biggest change, I would say, is the Vader skid. Now this particular skid is, uh, I think it's the biggest mod right here. Because it gives you the you know this Delrin or whatever this is material, it's so smooth so you can slide over stuff, and it doesn't change the links uh, geometry or anything, um, and you're able to uh, run a full size dig servo or a micro. Uh, it just it just gives you more options, but the biggest uh, advantages of having the skid I have to show you is. Like on a stock Capra on the bottom of the skid, usually there's like a bow effect, you know, it, it bows down a little bit so it sticks. This one is completely flat now. So it raised the skid up a little bit 
to where it does not hit. So you can sl you can kind of slam this truck down more, and in a sense give you more clearance on the bottom too. And before, I, um, it was a uh, I would say probably about a couple of millimeters. And let me just show you on the other side too what the inside of the uh, the dig servo looks like with the setup. So I would say it's a pretty good upgrade. Now, I don't know if it's possible if you, if you guys can see that. Sorry, I do apologize for the truck being so dirty because I recently just took it out for a test. To see what this truck was all about and i must say i'm pretty uh impressed with it so you can tell it has a spectrum servo still in there um but it has the adapter you can swap out and you put a full size uh dig servo if you want to keep this dig servo still uh, and uh with this advantage of this uh skid setup you can still run the interior too so nothing really it, it just help everything all the way around you're not just limited to um a certain servo or anything but other than that oh the other thing i'm going to show you guys so this truck with the with this current setup i'm actually really surprised and very uh impressed with it so one of those other things i know it doesn't mean a whole lot but it's able to now which is on its own it's able to sit on its side by itself pretty cool So let me pause the video and then uh, I will get back to you. I'm gonna show you the power of the triple five and then show you the with the underdrive uh, so you can see visually well, how much of a difference did it make. Okay, so we start off with, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the power of this uh, 1800 kV motor. Super smooth, very impressed with it. And just for the visual, like I said, I have some tape right here so you guys can see two tapes starting. So just a, uh, a frame of reference. Super controllable, very smooth. I mean, this is very, it just, it's slow speed is phenomenal. All right, so now let me hold on to the truck here with the little power to it. I mean, it is just crazy. And then to show you the uh, overdrive. Actually, let me start off again. I'm sorry about that. So, give you an idea what the overdrive looks like. Both stickers at the same point. So, here we go. Overdrive. It's not much. Like I said, it's only a 9.5% reduction in the rear. And, um, and honestly, I don't think you need more than that because... Uh, I mean, I guess you could. I guess overdrive is more of a preference thing, honestly. But with this truck with the uh, dig servo, it turns on a dime. Climbing is uh, not bad. Still has a little bit quite more uh, tuning to do. But all in all, I'm pretty uh, happy with it. So um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything, just leave them down in the uh, video below. But... Uh, that's it for this video guys as always thanks for your support and uh in the next video segment i'll have a uh, running footage of the truck so i'll see as i'll end with that and i'll see you guys in the next one take care